Bad optics. Lost the plot. Unable to read the room. Losing touch with your customer base. These are things that I would attribute to what I'm about to talk about in this article from CBR from a few days ago, depending on when you watch this video. Could be a whole week, I don't know. Studio behind Secret Invasion's AI credits insists no artist jobs were cut. You have no idea what people are complaining about, why they are criticizing this. If you did not know, if you're not watching, and it wouldn't surprise me, it's okay so far. I'm waiting to pass full judgment when I see more. The opening sequence, the opening credits for Secret Invasion, Marvel, Disney Marvel, Secret Invasion, the intro is AI generated. Now, this is a very hot topic right now when it comes to writing and art and whatnot. It's a very hot topic. People are talking about it, wondering where the creativity is going. But to sit there and go, no artist jobs were cut. You, as a defense, well, there's another defense that I had to take a screenshot of because I saw it on my phone earlier. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. But let's see what the article has to say. Method Studios issues a statement assuring fans that Secret Invasion's AI-produced opening credits didn't put any artists out of work. For now, sure. Yeah, I mean, the opening, credits, the opening sequence was okay at best, but Secret Invasion's AI-driven opening credits didn't result... Here we go, repeating ourselves three times. Didn't result in any artists losing their jobs according to the visual effects studios responsible for producing them. Method Studios insists that the Disney Plus show's credit sequence, which employs animated artwork produced using AI, didn't put any flesh and blood... How are you going to repeat your shit four times? Hold on. Yes, I'm going to nitpick the fuck out of this. Studio behind Secret Invasion's AI credit insists no artist jobs were cut. That is one. Method Studios insists statement insi issues a statement, da 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 didn't put any artists out of work. That's two. First paragraph. AI-driven opening credit didn't result in any artists losing their jobs. That's three, folks. Method Studios insist that Disney Plus show credit sequence, which employs animated artwork produced by AI, didn't put any flesh and blood creators out of work. That is four times you are repeating yourself. I can understand going off on a tangent like I'm doing right now, but... You say the same thing. Is word count just that important? Is it more important than the length of videos? I have videos that are 5 minutes, 6 minutes, 12 minutes. I think I had one that was a half an hour, but I was talking about a TV show. Probably Velma. Or She-Hulk. Anyway. Going off on tangents is one thing, but you repeat yourself four times. Four times in one article. Almost like you fed some information into, what, GPT chat? Whatever the hell that AI chat garbages and he just wrote one out and repeats itself over and over anyway let's get on with this before i lose anybody oh my goodness in a statement applied supplied a statement supplied to hollywood reporter quote ai is just one tool and this is true among the array of tool sets our artists use i believe a comparison was made recently um i think uh gary with nerd Rotic. if you don't follow him you should beat dan vasks or maybe not deep beat Dan Vass. I want to hear Gary sing a Bon Jovi song. That'd be funny. Go go subscribe to Dan Vask. It's a fantastic singer. He does the intro for Friday Night Tights. Stop with the tangents. AI is going to be a tool, just like mixing similar, I guess maybe similar to mixing. I kind of agree with this. Uh, using electronic means of distorting voices. We have uh, auto-tune, which is, eh, it was seen as terrible at first, but so many people are using it nowadays to make more industrial and electronic and techno music. But it's the same concept. How is it going to be used? People are going to take it and make beautiful things out of it, and some people are going to take it like Milli Vanilli and abuse the technology to their own means. The phonies will be will be um, found out. I smacked again. Damn it. I'm going to keep going. Uh, a tool... Among the array of tool sets our artists use. No artist jobs were replaced by incorporating these new tools. Instead, they complemented and assisted our creative teams. Yes, because you still have to input the stuff into the program in order for it to generate anything. Now, is that theft? Is it plagiarism? Mm. We're we are entering an interesting age of art right now. 
where people can make stories, scripts, music, and in this case, art with artificial intelligence. It's going to be some interesting time, folks. Adup adapt, adjust, move forward, use it to the best of your ability. Argument, I don't care. I like art. Maybe just not the AI scripts that we seem to be getting from modern entertainment. That's just one hot garbage after another. If they came out and said it was all AI generated like She-Hulk or Velma, it would make sense. Because it's kind of embarrassing that actual people wrote that garbage. Wrote that terrible just story. Blah. Ugh. I lost where I was. No artist jobs were replaced by incorporating these new tools. Instead, they complemented Method Studio's statement. Also clarified that Secret Invasion's credits relied on input from a range of artists, animators, and compositors, compositors, as well as AI technology. Again, you're missing the point. People are complaining. The complaint behind it is that Disney, known for its animation, and Marvel known for comic books hand drawn by people decided to use artificial intelligence in a comic book tv show that's just i mean hilarious at best it's not it's it's the entire context of the whole situation is what people are people are pointing fingers and criticizing but hey whatever Ah, da, 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 da. Secret Invasion premiered on Disney Plus. Oh, whatever. Yes, outcry, AI scenes, yes. Secret Invasion director defends the AI-generated credits. Okay, so let's see what this genius has to say. Uh, when we reached out to the AI vendors, that was part of it. It just came right out of the shape-shifting scroll world identity. You know, who did this? Who is this? Really? Hmm. By contrast, senior concept artist Jeff Simpson recently tweeted that he was devastated to see Marvel Studios supporting technology, quote, designed solely to eliminate artists' careers. And he's kind of right. Eliminate artists' careers? No. There will always be a market for the artist. Because the AI, just like anything else, can only create so much. It lacks the heart, the soul. You can copy this and copy that, but the creativity is not there. AI can only create as much as it's fed, at least for now, until our AI overlords take over the world and we become subservient to them. Marvel Studios executives will no doubt be dismayed, and though they'll dismiss it, they'll ignore it. All the criticism is what they do. They don't listen to anyone. Uh, wait, what? Oh, spoilers. Somebody dies in the first episode. Oh, no. Dismayed by the controversy surrounding Secret Invasion's credit credits, not least of all because they wanted other unique aspects of the show to claim the spotlight instead. If that's all people co are complaining about, I would call that a win. Okay? If they're not complaining about the story, if they're not complaining about how you treated Samuel, uh, Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson's character, Nick Fury in the show, if they're not complaining about that, if they're not complaining about the CGI, that's a win for Marvel Studios. Because when She-Hulk came out, it was all about the CGI. It was all about the story. And the joke, or lack thereof. So, if all people are complaining about is the opening sequence, the credit sequence, hey, take the win. Take your victory lap right now. Because there's more episodes to come. I believe five more. I think it's episode, it's either six or eight. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for making it this far, if you're going to believe it in the comments. Hey, I appreciate it. Ah, oh, Secret Invasion is currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. Now, what else did I want to see? So, this one came across my timeline, and I had to take a screenshot and talk about it. Uh, after Secret Invasion's AI intro sparked backlash, let's get, make that nothing big. Oh, that's too big. Uh, a statement from Method Studios via The Hollywood Reporter. Now, this is where Lost the Plot comes in. Bad optics. This is the excuse they gave for using AI to generate the intro. Working on Secret Invasion, a captivating show exploring the infiltration of aliens in human society, spoiler alert, provided an exceptional opportunity to delve into the intriguing realm of AI, specifically for creating unique character attributes and movements. Utilizing a custom AI tool for this particular element perfectly aligned with the project's overall theme and desired aesthetic. No, the fuck, it didn't. 
Secret Invasion is not about artificial intelligence. It's about aliens. It's about the Skrull, an alien life form infiltrating society and being able to look like, like however they want. If you... I would say using an AI-generated intro would be good for something along the lines of the Terminator series. Or, what, iRobot. Something where androids, artificial humans, or the Matrix even, taking over and looking like real life, like real people. Not an alien. I don't know. I disagree with this wholeheartedly, especially considering the current atmosphere surrounding AI-generated art. Again, your inability to read the room is quite evident. You have lost touch with the fan base because you've ignored them, you've ignored us, and called us names, called us misogynists, bigots, every istophobe word. Let me, I guess I'll finish reading it. Using a custom, okay. The production process was highly collaborative and iterative with a dedicated focus on blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, nothing else. They decided to use AI to create the intro because of the theme of the show, even though they are barely similar at bet. I mean, aliens mimicking humans, AI mimicking humans. Sure, that's about as close as you can get, but I don't I don't find them similar enough to use AI to generate the intro. And again, what this boils down to is inability to read the room. There are a lot of people passionately against the use of any sort of AI in order to generate a script, even if it's just a draft of a script where someone with talent goes in and does the editing. There are people that are very much against that. There are people who are in favor of things like that because it will allow independent creators a baseline to move forward with, uh, with one of their projects because of financing. Both sides have good arguments. Where do you stand? Where do I stand? I don't know. Art is art. I would prefer art from a human, but I also enjoy video games. A human has to create it. And even when it comes to AI artwork, a human has to create something and monitor it in order to create a finished product. There will be people who make fantastic works of art with the assistance of AI. But let me know what you think in the comments. I just think it's funny because Disney keeps getting dunked on and dunked on and dunked on for, I don't know, not being able to read the room, essentially. But thank you for making it this far. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a comment. Appreciate you. See you on the next one.